Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Jay Freshman. Today, I'm going to show you how to add drums and plugins to FL Studio 20. So, we're just going to jump right into it. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you could keep yourself organized while doing this. So, we're in FL right now. As you can see, I already have drums to the size. So, what you could do is this also, just for example, I could easily just drag and drop. So, the only reason why I don't like this because if you have any drum kits that is named below, you know, the letter T, then it's gonna drop all the way down here. And I think a lot of other producers subconsciously, we don't even get like to this part. But anyways, a more organized way I would go about it is actually going to options. Then I will go to file settings. And you can already see that I added it from here. And all you have to do is just click on one of the folders that are empty and then navigate through where your drums are. You know, this is for your MIDI as well. It's not only just drum pack, but make sure when you downloading your drums, have it on your desktop. It just makes it a lot easier because then you can just go to your desktop, boom, and just search through. If you have it all over the place, you're gonna make it difficult. Once you download it, make sure you put it on your desktop. And then from there, you can just click it and then it will pop up like these. And here's the thing too. So you're gonna put it in there. They still gonna get scattered around. So now my thing is I added drum kit right next to the name of the drum kit. You could do that right here for browser names. You could come up with any browser name. But for me, I like to keep things organized and I put drum kit and the name of the drum kit. And that's pretty much how you do the drum kit part. And I like this way because yeah, you could put, you know, all your drum kits in one folder like how I did for this one. But then I just like to have my go-to ones where I could just click easily. And that's why I have it like this as well. You know, my drum kit right here that I use often. If you want this drum kit of mine, you can find it at jfreshman.com. This is called a tune-up drum kit. I also have the end game drum kit. If you don't have any drum kits, these are some good drum kits to start off with. And then now for the plugins, it's very easy. It's kind of the same step. So what you're going to do is press this add button at the bottom of your channel rack. Go to more plugins. Three hours later. All right. That took forever. I mean, I got hella plugins, but. So here, what you're looking at right now is you're not gonna have all these extra stuff. All the things that are in yellow is what I added, folders that I added. And keep in mind, anytime you download in plugins, let's not make it complicated. Where it shows you where do you want to um, put your downloading settings at, it's gonna show you that in the plugin that you're downloading. Just leave it default. You feel me? Just leave it default if you don't want any like weird thing happening. Leave it default because then it's automatically going to go to one of these folders and it can read it a lot easier rather than you putting it in a folder that is just weird and it's not in this part. And you can also add it, like I said, but just to keep things easy. Also, keep in mind, if you have an external hard drive, all you have to do is just click on where it says plus and then you just navigate where your um, external hard drive is and then you can easily press X. So if you don't want any, you just highlight it and press X and it would delete it. Like let's say you just kind of filled up a lot of folders for no reason in here. You can just easily delete them. And anytime you come back to add more plugins, I would suggest just only having these like three highlighted. If you have all these highlighted, what it's going to do is rescan everything. It's going to go through a whole process and this is going to take long as fuck. And I also want to go back to the drum kits as well. For the external hard drive, it works the same. You know, you go to file settings and you just navigate and find your external hard drive. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you like and subscribe for more tips like this. And I just kind of want to start off these beginner series because, you know, at times I feel like with producers, right now it's like especially the ones on youtube that have been producing for a while we've, we kind of forget about like the little nuances that a lot of beginners are tripping over right now and i want to be able to help you guys out better so maybe you're not even new to this and you didn't even know you could do it this way so i kind of want to show these kind of videos as well let me know in the comments if you want to see more little videos like this and thank you guys for watching peace